very good morning ladies and gentlemen a very good afternoon a very good uh, evening to everyone wherever you are watching this channel from my name is Dipatoka Terega the farm chief here at the farm chief college <laughs> Ah, I hear the Bounty of College. Well, thank you for watching us, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the data. Thank you for the time. But I think whichever we give you, I think you also gain. Also getting something good. I think we are changing people's lives. Thank you for watching this channel. Uh, as I've told you, the Patoka Telega, the Farm Chief here at the Farm Chief College. <laughs> Today, we want to talk about the most two caterpillars that disturbs us during flowering and fruit developing stage. Those are the caterpillars we're going to talk about, the pests actually. They are even butterflies, but those are the, the these some of the insects, uh, like the tomato moth, the green caterpillar, the green tomato caterpillar, they usually come from those but butterflies. So today we want to talk about at a flowering stage, you know, we are at flowering stage, as you can see. Yeah? I think you see the flowers. Okay? So we are on flowering stage. We are on stage of fruit developing. You see, they are developing fruits. But we have challenges. And this is a very, 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 very critical stage. It is a very, very, very critical stage. This is where we start knowing that we are going to start making loss all we shall make profit but i've been telling you always whenever we start farming our aim is to get profit but you must get profit when you do take care of the garden you can't get profit when you are a farmer of phone calling you have to get time you have to invest farming is like any other business ladies and gentlemen so this is a very critical stage as i have told you it is on its flowering stage and fruit developing stage of fruit development stage these are the fruits you are seeing they are developing you see uh these are the flowers these are the flowers these are the flowers they are two they are two most dangerous Pests and they are caterpillars. One is called green tomato caterpillar or tomato moth. This one is brown in color. At times it's camouflage. It can camouflage. At times it, it, it turns into a brownish white or cream. At times it's fully brown. It has uh, brown lines on its abdomen and it has uh, the, 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 the they are called the brown eyes it is very difficult it i mean it is very dangerous because for it it uh it even uh swallows i uh, don't no, no no swallows it even pits hmm, the holes in the fruits in the in the, in the fruit itself yeah? you find some of the tomatoes having some holes within eh? that means that insect or that caterpillar had already entered in it when it enters in that fruit it doesn't uh, fail it from growing and getting big it gets big and it grows up very well but inside you know the baganda they say that uh, uh, a mango can look good on the skin but when inside it is already uh, it decayed so in tomatoes it is also common as i have showed you Thank you so much for watching the farm chief. We are still going. Another caterpillar that is called green tomato caterpillar. This is also bad to the extent that uh, it lays its eggs on the upper and lower surface of the leaves. At times, they even lay their eggs in batches, but those batches, they normally lay those eggs on flowers and they tie with a thread. At times, they have those threads. It ties and ties and ties the thread. 
the thread to the flowers then it lays its eggs there in a batch at the end of the day when you don't uh, when you don't inspect or detect your, uh, your, 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 in your garden, you find when you have nothing, when you're going to have nothing. So my fellow farmers, how do we detect? How do we detect? How do we get to know that some insects are in our gardens? <laughs> you know why I'm laughing. You know people, they know that you just have to call, you just leave them on the garden at the farm. I just give them a How is it? How is it? They're also human beings. And at times they don't want to tell you the facts. Someone may say, I think they are good, things are good, and you just sit there, you got the beaches, you can enjoy you very eh? yeah, yeah, yeah. how things go. Ah! Eh? So you have to invest time in your garden. Ah, we are having problems in our garden. This is detection and uh, and uh, and uh, inspection. Look! Look, look, you pass fire, you pass through the garden, you know, and look for the lovers. Oh, lava. You understand? You look for the lava on the upper, like here, on the upper or lower surface of the leaves because that is the very good place for those uh, caterpillars to lay their eggs to hide themselves you understand you have to go looking for it on the lower and the upper 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 surfaces of the leaves another thing you have to look for the damages eh? they normally damage the leaves putting their windows eh? uh, 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 eating the margins of the leaves eh? this is the margin hmm? you can find uh, when these margins are eaten that's when you know that you have those caterpillars in the what? Uh, in the in the plantation or in the garden. Then, if you don't find it, that means that is good. If you find there, that means you have inspected already that there are some caterpillars, there are some pests, there are insects that are affecting you in your tomato production. Another thing, how to detect and inspect uh, your tomato plantation. You check the developed fruits whether they have holes when they have holes that means still you have those caterpillars insects or the caterpillars they eat leaves they damage all leaves you understand and they create the shallow pits in the fruits as you see this one this is the importance of uh, inspecting you see these leaves these are the windows I've been talking about. You see, I told you at the surface, at the lower surface of the leaves. This is where they lay their eggs. As I told you, they lay their eggs in bunches. So it is here. You can see. Hmm? Hmm. So they are there. They are very, very, very dangerous, as you can see. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't inspect, if you don't uh, detect, your farm your plantation man you can end up harvesting zero